So the video that you're seeing right now in this review is actually shot on this dash cam. I'm in a little bit later in the review, I'm gonna to switch to my camera so you can see how it's mounted in the car. But I'm hoping that this will give you a good idea of the really good quality that this camera has. Not only, you know, a lot of dash cams don't necessarily have great video quality because they're so focused on not basically melting from the interior temperatures that cars get to. This camera has struck a good balance with the quality of the video. If you notice in the top left corner how it's obscured a little bit, that's not the camera's fault. That's because I have it mounted too close to my easy pass. And the reason why I did that is because I like to have them both hidden behind my rear view mirror. So from the driver's seat, I don't see either the camera or the easy pass. In the future, I may adjust that a little bit so that it's not blocking any of the view. The other thing I want to comment about the video quality, if you're watching this review on YouTube, it should be the full 1080 resolution. If it's not, you can click down in the bottom right hand corner of your video to see what it looks like at full resolution. If you're watching it on Amazon, they tend to really compress review videos, so I don't think it's a fair representation of how good the video actually is. So you might want to do a search for this product on YouTube and take a look at the same video there. If you're looking at it on YouTube, I've got a link to how to get to the product on Amazon. This camera, in addition to the really good quality that you're seeing, it has a whole bunch of features. Some of those features I think are really useful and I, I already use them. For example, the fact that it, the included cigarette adapter that they give you, as soon as that starts providing power, you know, like when you turn the car on, it starts recording right away. So you don't even need to think about starting it recording. And then it shuts off when the car shuts off. So that, that's a very valuable feature. It also has a battery built into the camera. So if you lose power unexpectedly, it can do that shutdown properly. So a feature that I'm not sure if I'm going to use is the auto GPS logger. I've looked at the files just to see if it's something that it would be useful. And I think that it's not that complicated to be able to do some interesting things with that data. So I think I might explore that. One I, a feature that I hope not to use, but that I will if I have an accident, is the Auto G sensor lock. What that does is it just locks the file to make sure it's not uh, erased over or deleted if you have a car accident. Uh, some of the more complicated features that I probably won't do anything with are the Auto Lane Departure Warning System. It replicates the lane departure warning systems that high-end cars have and you have to really calibrate it to your car and I just don't have a lot of confidence that it work well. To be honest though and fair, I didn't test it. That's just my assumption about that feature. It's just not going to be, the juice is not going to be worth the squeeze on that one so I didn't try it out. The other thing that may be worth it but I'm probably not going to take the time to figure out is the features that prevent it from being, the system from being stolen out of your car. I just, uh, I can see the value to that, but I, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, want to take the time and effort to figure that out. The way I have it set up, it was just, I used their included adhesion and they're included, they give you two different wires, plus they give you the USB cigarette charger, uh, and it's all really nice quality cables and uh, 3M adhesive accessories, and they give you a, a bunch of different mounting options. So I'm happy with everything and I uh, recommend this. In a second, I'm going to, I tried to show you low light performance, but unlike, unfortunately the uh, light came out of my garage. Uh, when I've recorded at night, it's actually really good quality. We have a lot of street lights around here and you can, you can see just like you'd see with your eyes when you're driving. Here's how I have it mounted. It's right next to my easy pass behind my rear view mirror and it, you can't see it at all from the driver's seat. I had to hit a button to turn it on. But overall, I recommend this product and let me know if you have any questions.